.NET history. In this video, I want to talk about .NET history. I believe that if you know more about your framework, its histories, and the platform and environment you're working on, especially the big scale teams which develop them, it could help you in your career and it could help you solve similar challenges if you face them in your team. So, please continue watching this video till the end. I will introduce you to .NET and the history behind .NET. Please watch till the end and please don't, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it and share it with your friends. Thanks. Let's get start. As you know, .NET is a framework which helps you to develop applications, run them and execute them and it gives you comprehensive setup library and runtime to build and execute your applications for various platforms. Over the years, .NET has been grown and we are in 2003 and .NET is 23 years old. 23. There are a lot of experience across these 20 years. .NET Framework is the first version of .NET that has been released. It's released on 2000. Like everything in this world, .NET has some advantage and disadvantage. But why did developers choose .NET to start their development? Because it was object-oriented. The .NET support object-oriented programming back in 2000 it allows you to develop multiple languages like Weeby.net, C Sharp, F Sharp, and others. Back then, it was so crazy, and it still is. It is still crazy to develop multiple languages with one framework. It has it had extensive li class libraries, and it provides rich set of pre-built class libraries, and it was awesome. It used common language runtime (CLR) for providing memory management, and it had Garbage collector, and it was managed uh, framework. Unlike unlike C and C plus plus, .NET DLL is managed. It means your DLL is managed. It has metadata, and instead of assembly code, you will see IL. It means intermediate language, low level language, but it's not assembly. And it helps .NET to build multiple language with one framework. It's .NET. IL helps .NET to handle multiple languages, but like every existing thing in this world, .NET has some disadvantage too. What is it? Let's see. Back in 2000, .NET was Windows only. Its primary targeted operation system was Windows. It had limited cross-platform compatibility, and it had a heavy runtime. If you remember, I worked with .NET framework. It was it had very heavy runtime, and you will experience a slow application startup. So, for Windows only problem, they introduced Mono Framework on 2001. It was open source compatible with .NET Framework project that helps you to run your project in multiple platforms, but it had some disadvantage too. What was it? .NET Mono also allowed API compatibility. Why Mono was compatible with .NET, but there was some difference with behavior and missing API implementation in Mono, and it had performance difference with different kind of uh, platforms. On 2016, .NET team rewrote .NET Core. Yes, rewrote core of .NET. It was open source cross-platform and they solved the heavy runtime problem on .NET framework. It was awesome, I loved it, which .NET Core was modular and they write ASP.NET Core for it and it was awesome. Back then it was awesome for me. But there was a problem. They had .NET framework, they had .NET Core, .NET Mono, and they all had different API and different behavior on each one of them. So what they so they introduced that in the standard on 2016, and they, it was a contract for each one of version of .NET that they must obey .NET standard contract. But on 2000, they said, okay, we have .NET standard, we have .NET Core, we have .NET Mono, we have all these .NETs. What should we do? And they had. Great idea. They said, okay, we need a single development platform. Let's name it .NET instead of .NET Framework. And they had core of .NET. They just put .NET Framework and .NET Mono on it. It allowed you to develop cross-platform and it was fast. It was single development platform. It had all the benefit from .NET Core and it was open source. I remember the day that they introduced .NET 5. It was awesome. I loved it and I was very, very happy. The next year, on 2021, they released .NET 6, and they add WPF and Windows Form. They couldn't finish it on .NET 5, and they in improved 
doesn't performance and they introduced hot reload i love hot reload it helped me a lot on my project and it saved me a lot of time it's awesome and on 2002 they introduced that at seven yes that in seven it had better for performance and they introduced aot native it means instead of cheat you can you can choose the targeted platform and you can just get native 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 version of that platform it's awesome it's like go and c plus plus i just love it but on aot native you have some limitation like reflection you can you cannot use reflection on aot native but on 2023 which is now they want to introduce that as eight i've seen preview six of that and eight and they introduced some features that solve some of the problem on aot native reflection and it still have better performance and more feature okay that was it i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please like this video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like my content i promise you that i will record more videos about dotnet and the stuff that every kind of programmer needs to know if you had any question please ask it on comment goodbye